Good morning. You know, as evidenced by the fact that you see me wear the exact same shirt uh, four or five weeks in a row, I tend to record these sales tips all at once. And I sit and I make a list. Maybe it comes up during the week or I write something down on my my reminders, and I think, oh, that's a good sales tip. Oh, that's a good sales tip. Well, I really find the need, I feel the need to get back to the basics because you know I'm, I'm constantly finding myself returning to the fundamentals. And there's four keys to sales success. These are the four fundamentals to sales growth. So if you're not happy with your sales, your 2017 sales, or if you're a boss and you're watching this saying, oh, I'm not really happy with the sales people that I've got going on right now, I'm not happy with their sales growth, here are the four areas that you need to look at. Number one, make a high quality, well-researched sales call. That is, learn how to look at a company, look at their website, to determine how their, what their business needs are. How are they growing? Are they getting new customers, more from existing customers or going into new markets? And then what can you do? What questions do you ask in order to find out which products and services you need to uh, to go and sell, to go and market uh, to them. That's number one. Number two, call on the right target market. Make sure you're calling on not just the best leads, but also the people within those leads. What's their personality type? What's their job title? What's their communication skill? You have a sweet spot and you need to go find it. Number three, you've got to have a prospecting process, a step-by-step, week-by-week process. Here's the good news. It almost doesn't matter what it is. It doesn't. It doesn't matter if you're just, you know, phone calls, emails, letters, stopping by, um, send them out a YouTube video. It doesn't matter. What matters is that you have a process, a week by week, step by step process. And what matters most of all is the fourth thing, diligence. Just like I told you last week, or maybe it was two weeks ago, that diligence is omnipotent. You want to make certain that you're out there applying that prospecting process again and again and again and again. And that's what's going to uh, help you to find that sales success. I don't make a lot of promises. I don't make any guarantees except for this one thing, that if you make a high value call to the right target market, applying a prospecting process with diligence and pleasant persistency, you will succeed 100% of the time. If you are having a problem with your sales or your salespeople, the, the reason for that problem, the core, the root of that problem is within one of those four things, 100% of the time. It's typically one of, maybe number one and number, number one and number four. Yeah, the high quality, high quality call and the amount of calls that you are making. So if you go to my YouTube channel, you can find a, uh, I did a keynote presentation on this whole subject and the four keys to sales success. And you'll find a little bit more on this subject. Uh, but you know what? This is one of those fundamentals that I will return to again and again. I hope you have a great selling week, everybody. Again, don't make any assumptions about the holidays. I got a tip for you. You're going to be hearing the objection. Call me after the holidays and I'll cover that next week. Matter of fact, just came to mind. I'm going to write that down. So you'll see the same shirt next week. Uh, let's see. Uh, yep. The objection. Okay. Got it. So until then, have a great selling week. and We'll talk to y'all later.